How are you guys? Welcome back to War Game in China. And we're back in Shanghai for the 1928 incident, for the January 28th incident. Now, we're looking here at Kianghua, the walled village town of Kianghua. And it's the 29th of February. 1932, 1932 being a leap year. Now, the 29th of February is a bad day for the Chinese forces around Shanghai, in and around Shanghai. On the morning of the 29th, two amphibious assaults between Luai He and Baoshan will be mounted successfully by the Japanese. During the day, Japanese forces of the 24th Mixed Brigade will clear Chinese forces along their front and secure and secure one, two sides of this city. Elements of the Japanese army pushing from the north will enter here with armor to attack the town of Kianwan. Now, today I'm going to talk about events for the 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th and the 1st of March so for the, for, the, for the 25th to the 29th of February and the 1st of March 1932 so um, what we would look at is that uh, as the elements of the 24th Mixed Brigade um, counter-attacked and retook the town of Miao Hang from elements of the 87th, of the 87th Division. The um, Chinese forces were left to put up a, a defense of mainly delaying tactics to um, try and stall the Japanese advance. Um, and to the the Japanese push that had come from the north had um, also faced multiple mines, ambushes, um, every single bridge blown, and the, the Chinese forces constantly infiltrating back and re, re manning fallen positions. You know, the Chinese would re, would re infiltrate back to their old positions and then be in the Japanese rear. Um, by the 26th, the town of Kianwan, which is really the uh, elbow of the Chinese line, if you like, um, it is at Kianwan that the lines of the 19th Army end and turn left to be held by the 5th Army. So. By the time the town was cut off on three sides, it was defended by men of the 87th Division and elements of the 19th Route Army. The first Japanese attack will be driven back, machine gun and rifle fire, and um, bridges blown up in their faces. Um, the second attack on the um, 28th will um, be preceded by a brutal, very heavy and very long artillery bombardment accompanied by um, heavy aerial bombardment and this will continue overnight from the night of the 27th until the afternoon of the 28th when the Japanese infantry move forward to, uh, to assault the town. 
Now, the Japanese infantry had learned by now that the canals, channels, gullies, ditches, all the drainage systems didn't have to be viewed as an obstacle. They had observed how the Chinese 87th Division had used these water elements, drainage ditches, to uh, maneuver their forces and use them as routes of attack without being uh, observed by Japanese artillery. So the Japanese, for the attack on uh, Kiang Wan, will get as close as they as they can to the position using the ditches, canals and, dra and um, drainage cha channels. Now, the second attack in Kiang Wan, as I said, the bombardment went on for a long time. When the infantry began to move in, the Japanese infantry began to move in, they received no response at all from the Chinese defenders. As they got closer, they, they uh, received very little response. They sent um, forces, as soon as their forces entered the city and were like, into the town properly, the, the Chinese counterattacked with bayonets and swords and grenades and drove the Japanese forces back out of Kiang Wan. Now, with the amphibious landing, landings by the, by the Japanese and with their um, with, with the 87th Division having been driven back from uh, the left flank of the 19th Army. Gen the, the, the overall commander, General Xinjiang, decides to um, order the withdrawal. But it'd be too late for the men of the, the, the defenders of Kiang Wan because um, the Japanese will finally cut them off and on the 29th will begin their final assault with armour. The town will fall in the earth by the afternoon. Now, I'm going to talk now about the Chinese withdrawal. Now, some elements, as we've got to always remember, the, Jap the Jap Japanese had always demanded that the 19th Fruit Army had to withdraw 12 miles from the city limits. Now, we have to remember too that along most of its line, the 19th Fruit Army had held its positions and indeed had counterattacked successfully. So, the men of the 19th Division of the 19th Fruit Army not only had attacked with great bravery and defended against overwhelming firepower, they were now having to do one of the hardest things a soldier or an army can do, withdraw in the face of the enemy. On the night of the 29th, the 19th Fruit Army did just that. Um, it withdrew 12 miles from the city limits and those forces that had found themselves with their backs against the um, international settlement, handed their arms into the international settlement, marched through the international settlement, out of the, then out of the international settlement, and continued their march until they had put 12 miles between them and the city. By dawn, on the 1st of March, when the Japanese assault the former positions of the 19th Army, they find them abandoned, and they are quite surprised about this because the withdrawal was done with great skill. So with the fall of Kiang Wan and the, and the withdrawal of the, Ch of the Chinese 5th and 19th armies, it would, it would see the end of most of the hostilities of the January 28th incident. And for me personally, this is where I will finish my campaign. So now I'm going to get into the forces I'm using. So you, I've shown you my Chinese. So for the elements of the 19th Fleet Army, I'm using the old Airfix World War II British Infantry. And I just wish they didn't have a backpack. And for elements of the 5th Army, I'm using heavily converted Airfix figures from uh, World War I US, World War I French, and World War I French. 
And if you want to see that, I've got a video on them on my channel. Now, I'll show you the Japanese. Now, as I said, the 19th Fruit Army was bang out of ammunition. But however, because of my campaign, when I originally decided to do this battle, well, I didn't originally decide to do this battle. I've been amassing the forces from Shanghai in 1937 for a long time. And um, I decided that I only needed to create one regiment of the 5th Army and I could do Shanghai in 1932. So I just used my imagination and didn't mind if I used FT-17 instead of NC-27s. You know, that's how I did this battle. Um, so what you're looking at is the old matchbox figures, the old airfix figures. Um, uh, the Type 89 is from OS models. You should always buy local. Um, the FT-17, I can't remember who makes that. Uh, yeah, so there we go. I've got a battalion of infantry, some artillery support, armored support, and an engineer, co engineer company. And I'm going to be needing the engineer, engineering company for all the war obstacles. So that's the that is the force that will be that has that has attacked from the north. Okay, so for the twenty fourth Independent Mixed Brigade, because today I've got representatives of two armies. Uh, so I don't usually do this, but I thought maybe you guys would like to see some other figures that I've got. So representing the 24th Mixed Brigade, or a battalion of the 24th Mixed Brigade, I've got um, the old Matchbox figures. Now they're painted up for very late war, but um, I love the old Matchbox figures. Now I've got a, a regimental gun company, a mortar company, and a 75mm mountain gun. And uh, those, are the, those are going to represent the forces of the 24th Independent Mixed Brigade. Now, for this game, I'm going to make the Chinese fanatical, um, and I'm going to have the Japanese as fanatical. So, um, because this is the last stand, and that is historically correct. That's how it went. There was um, this was the last stand to the death, and um, there's going to be no. There were no. Oh, very, very, very few survivors of the, of the from the defenders of Kian One. So there you go. That's the um, that's how my campaign's gone. And what I'll do is I'll do an epilogue so that um, we can, I can tell you more about how I did things, why I did things. Um, but there you go, mate, um, guys. Remember, um, oh yeah, I'm going to have it to represent Chinese forces that have been re-infiltrated back. I'm going to be dicing to see which of these small buildings is occupied by Chinese forces. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So this is, um, Shanghai incident, 29th of, um, March 1932, last stand at Kiangwan. All right, guys, if you'd like that, uh, press subscribe. If, you, if you'd also like that, press like. If you didn't, hey, I don't know what I can do for you. But hey, see you later. Bye.